Hi everyone, this is Dave Askew with Media DMA. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the analysis I was able to do for the brand new Sony C100 Ultra High Resolution Dual Element Multi-Pattern Microphone. And what really makes this microphone quite unique is not the fact that it has two elements, but its ability to record supersonic frequencies with quite a linear flat response. So the lower element picks up everything that we can hear from 20 hertz all the way to around 25 kilohertz or so. But the second element extends that frequency range all the way up to 50 kilohertz. And you might ask yourself, if we can't hear those frequencies, why is it important that we capture them? Well, when you're working with ultra sensitive audio material that needs to be recorded at higher sample rates, this mic gives you an incredible sense of realism that you just can't get from even some of the most premier microphones. So here we have two audio files supplied by Craig Field over at Underwood Studios. They are Sydney's premier classical recording studio. And he had the opportunity to put these mics head to head with a stereo pair of the vintage Neumann KM84s. Not to be confused with the KM184s. These are the older ones which are renowned for having an ultra linear frequency response. And we're going to see shortly here how this Sony microphone just completely outperforms anything you've ever heard. So before we start, I'll give you a little preview of each of the recordings that were made. The first one here is from the Neumann KM84s. Let's listen to some of the more sensitive material over here to get a better idea of some of the subtleties. So you can hear that that recording is quite astounding in terms of its sensitivity, especially with very dynamic material. Now let's hop over here to the Sony C100s. These were set up in a Blumline configuration. We'll take a quick listen to this file here. So the one thing that really jumps out to me is not only are we getting the depth of sound that we would typically get from a large diaphragm condenser mic, but we're also really picking up some of the silky subtle sounds that we get more from the small diaphragm pencil condensers. And you would even think that considering the technology of this microphone, that it would have an ultra hyped upper frequency range, but quite the opposite is true. It's just so smooth and detailed and realistic. So let's take a closer look at really what's happening here under the hood. Here I'm using a frequency analyzer that extends well beyond the range of hearing. So we can see our frequencies here from 20 kilohertz all the way up to 96 kilohertz. Now, these recordings were made at 96 kilohertz. So our cutoff frequency in this particular analyzer is going to be at Nyquist which is half of 96, so it's more around 48 kilohertz, which is still double of what we would be able to pick up recording at 44.1. Now I just did wanna point out that in both of these files, we can see a little bit of noise here extending from 30K all the way up to 50K. Now this is just inherent system noise. This isn't really part of what the KM184s are picking up. This is just something inherent in the system. So just kind of be aware of that. Now we're gonna zoom out so that we can get a closer look at the frequency response of these KM84s. We can see quite an abrupt cutoff from about 15K all the way up to 20K. 
And if we zoom in vertically, all the way down to around minus 110 dB, we're not seeing much activity above 20K. Now if we hop over here to the C100s and start playback, we see a much different frequency response above 10K. And we actually see quite a bit of musical activity in these ranges too. Now there's been plenty of studies with the cognitive effect of supersonic frequencies. Even though we can't hear them, sometimes we can still feel them. And some people believe in those effects and others don't, but for certain, there is something going on under the hood in these C100 microphones that adds a very intense sense of realism. So just another thanks to Craig over at Underwood Studio for supplying these audio files and allowing us to do some of the analysis on these microphones. Be sure to check out his website at underwoodstudio.com.au. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.